hey you've always seen it bar filling up from left to right and you want to learn how to make yours in good dudes stick around and let's get loose some bars first create a new scene and the progress bars the experience load this is all what you need but it doesn't look good right let's make it better by going on the right part of the screen scroll down the parameters until you see custom styles click on it and you get a foreground fg and a background fg bg scroll up the parameters until you see values until you see value increase it to value uh, increase it to 50 so we can see the foreground while designing it in good dudes head back and check the fg and click on that to create a new style click on the box style layout and you get some new stuff to play with below you can see a preview of what you're designing click back click on the fbg i normally choose white so click on the bg color i normally choose white so i can reuse it for other stuff like an hp bar click on border width which is the border of the foreground in your bar and also pay attention to the preview you can play with the values of the border border width to your taste i'm going to give two to each next click on the border and give it any color you like i'm going to go with black i'm going to go with black i'm going to also play with the corner radius to make it look round and i'm done playing with the foreground do the same and help, do the same for the background I choose box layouts and play with the parameters to deal with the foreground if you are done, create a new scene and I'm going to call my loading scene. Add the loading bar scene as a shadow of this scene. Now we are going to animate the progress bar value property. You could use an animation player node or a twin node. I'm going to use a twin node to animate this. So add a twin node as a shadow of the scene. Next, attach a script to the root node. Create two variables next in which is an exported variable and an empty string. Add a variable called load time which is the time taken for our twin to finish animating the value property of the progress bar. Next, create a reference for our twin node. Summon the ready function and under it we are going to animate the twin node once the scene is shown. Below write the, write the code below. Twin dot interpolate property dollar sign dollar bar in double in quotes value zero comma hundred load time twins dot translinear is out. This means we are going to be interpolating the uh, property of the loading bar this value from 0 to 100 load time which is 3 seconds and twin the translinear is going to be linear and it's going to ease us at the end and beneath that you're going to put twin the starts starts to activate the twin next connect the twin all finish signal beneath its right uh, beneath its right get three the change scene to next scene which was the next thing which was the empty string uh, uh, variable above now I created a new 2D scene with a layered button in the whole world. Now head to your resource folder, click on the scene you want to change to so the loading change. After the loading is done, left click and select copy parts. Next, paste the part in the next scene property. Now run the scene and let the magic happen. Before that, I'm going to head over to visibility of the progress bar node and turn it blue. And run the scene and voila, it works. That's how you to create a loading bar a loading scene you can use a timer node too which is just a label like in my game rocket lancer and walls thanks for watching like this video if you learn something new and subscribe for more game desktop follow me on social links so follow me on social links below i just created a discord server and the server kind of feels lonely since i'm the only one there click the link below to join thanks for watching and god bless